Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I hope you're doing fine. In our math lessons this week, you are going to review numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And you are going to be introduced to a new concept, which is compare objects by height. Let's begin our lesson with reviewing the numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We will begin with this number. What's this number? This is number 5. Everybody show me 5 fingers. What comes after number 5? Number 6. After number six, we have number seven. Then we have number eight. After number eight comes number nine. And after number nine comes number ten. So these are the numbers from five to ten. Now, let's practice writing the numbers from one to from five to ten we will begin with number five how do we write number five a small straight line then we make the belly for santa and then we put the hat for santa number six we start from the top we go to the left round then we make a small circle. Number seven, we start from the top. We go to the right and then we slide down. Number eight, we write the sound S. Then we close the first circle, then the second circle. Number nine, we start from the top round up then a straight line down and finally number 10 straight line from the top down to the bottom and the zero is a circle last two weeks we started learning about the concept comparing objects by size then we compared objects by length this week, we are going to compare objects by height. When we, want, when we want to compare two objects by their height, we use the words short and tall. Short and tall. Take a look at this flower. This is a short flower. This flower is tall. This girl is short. This girl is tall. This tree is tall. This Christmas tree is short. This pencil is short. This pencil is tall. This rabbit is short. This, this elephant is tall. This woman is short. This man is tall. So when we want to compare objects by their height, we use the words short and tall. <laughs> 